Atos is one of the top five leaders in digital service. Uh, we are covering 72 countries, 100,000 people. We are focusing on all the different services and capability to transform data in business value for company, but also value for scientists. We are the European leader in high performance computing and we have developed the best platform in the planet to run the largest database in the world. Atos Codex is the full capability and the set of solutions and services inside Atos to provide solutions around analytics. I believe that the data consolidation and data integration is the number one uh, major step that we need to uh, provide to our customer. So uh, giving them the ability to consolidate and uh, aggregate all their data coming from different sources and then providing the intelligence on top of it uh, to transform data in value and value for scientists, value for business. Earth Observation for Wildlife, we are designing the platform to help scientists consolidate the number of different sources around Earth Observation the number one objective, improve uh, the protection of the, the wildlife uh, because we have a better understanding and tracking uh, of wildlife. We choose CIS as a key partner uh, because they have the unique capability to collect and distribute Earth observation data. CLS is a, is a company that was created in uh, 1986 and we all share the same passion, which is to uh, imagine and deploy satellite-based system to better understand and protect our planet for a sustainable management of its resources. We've been accumulating data for maybe more than 30 years, and today we have a huge amount of data. To really add more value to this huge amount of data, we really need to go to big data infrastructure, and this is where we, we met Atos on the, the UO4 Wildlife project. We provide all the tracking of the animals. Today, 8,000 animals are followed every month. And over the past 30 years, more than 100,000 animals have been followed. And we also provide expertise on the Earth observation data. What kind of Earth observation data can provide what kind of information, at which resolution, at which revisit frequency and whatsoever. And uh, we provide all this expertise and data on the tracking system to the project. Mainly when you work on marine wildlife, you want to know where they are and why they are there. That's the main question to understand if they're facing any threat. We're using like different tracking device to figure out where they go at sea. And once you've got this data on where they are, you try to figure out why they are there. And for that, we use Earth observation data, which is a sea surface temperature, sea surface height, all these different parameters that might explain why an animal is there and often is because he's feeding, because he's breeding, all these different parts of his life cycle. There's like uh, many, many species that have been tagged and tracked. Like there's some species that are individually tagged, for example, southern elephant seals that are tagged in the southern hemisphere to uh, find out where they go at sea to feed. There's also humpback whales, for example, in New Caledonia that are being tagged too, to see where they feed and where they breed. What we can do using this tracking database is to identify important like hotspots that the birds are using. And this data, if, if we associate, for example, with Earth observation data from the EO for Wildlife platform, we are able to predict under different scenarios of climate change what may happen with these birds. And if we can identify these important areas, we can advise managers and policymakers to protect those areas. So until now, we, we are able to, to obtain this Earth observation data, but they are like scattered through a lot of different platforms and you need a lot of expertise to be able with deal, to deal with these data sets. So it's a lot of different formats that a lot of uh, biologists and conservationists, they don't really know how to access. Often what is uh, difficult for us is to identify all the different like parameters that you get from the satellite and which one you're interested in. And the platform is, is going to do that job for you. It's trying to, we can just select which parameter uh, we want and the platform is going to go and get this parameter 
And then once you get them, it's to merge them with your data uh, to kind of like put them, the two together, so then you can uh, figure out the links between the two through different models about uh, which parameter can maybe uh, explain why your animal is there. Biodiversity is under a huge range of threats now. Habitat loss, uh, the spread of agriculture, unsustainable use, pollution, overfishing, overharvesting huge range of problems. Earth observation remote sensing data are becoming increasingly valuable, allowing us to detect where the most important threats are operating and in particular how they're changing over time. Biodiversity is distributed in some very peculiar ways. It's, it's quite unpredictable in where you get areas of high importance and low importance. Working out where biodiversity is is a really important first step in working out how to preserve it. I hope that in the future using this data we can actually be able to identify the important areas for birds and I hope that these data will serve to inform like managers and policy makers to actually protect these areas. We are in the process of creating more marine protected area uh, within France and within the world, like all the country are like increasing their marine protected area and to do that we need to know uh, what is out there. The scale of the challenge is enormous. The um, actions that are needed, the societal changes are hugely challenging. But there are lots of fantastic examples of successes demonstrating that we have the skills, we have the knowledge, and where we have the resources and the political will, we can turn, turn back the tide. And we are the beginning. Uh, so we will find a number of uh, uh, new capability uh, and uh, advantage of this solution.